Hi everyone, this is Leah. Uh, I'm from the Assist Trust. So one of the really popular groups we do at Assist is the Ladies South Image Group. So carrying on from that, today I'm going to do a quick makeup lesson. So this lesson will just be a really basic look for the day. And if it's popular and people maybe want more looks like a party look, we can do that another time. So first things first, we need to have nice clean hands, a nice clean face, and we need to get our hair away from our face so we don't get makeup in it. So you can just put yours in a ponytail or you can use a headband. But there we go, hair off face. So the very best place to start with makeup is to have as nice a skin as possible. So I'm gonna put on some moisturizer to get me going. So while we're stuck away, it's a really good time to practice our makeup looks because no one's really gonna see it. And when everything's over, we can strut out of the house looking like supermodels. Okay. So I've put my moisturizer on. The next thing that I use, but it doesn't matter if you have it or not, is something called a primer. So what a primer does, it just goes on your skin and it helps your makeup stay on a little bit longer. So you don't need much. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. So normally when I do my makeup, I use a makeup sponge, but if you don't have one, it doesn't matter. You can just use your fingers. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I like to dot on starting with under my eyes, make sure I get it on my forehead and then anywhere else. And then you can just gently pat it on and try and get it all over your face. So you don't need to press hard and you don't need to rub it in. You just need to be really, really gentle and this way you won't damage your skin. So there we go. So that's all over my face. I don't know if you can see, but my skin looks a little bit more shiny because the primer I use has got little shiny bits in it. Makes your skin look flawless apparently, but who knows? So the next step would be foundation. So when you choose foundation, what I would recommend is to go into a shop and get one of the ladies or gentlemen on the counter to help you choose what colour you need. If you get it too dark, you get lines all over your face. And if you get it too light, you look like a ghost. So again, I'm just going to start by dabbing it all over my face. Make sure it's going to go everywhere. And then just like I did with my primer, just rub it in. So a little tip, if you put it on your lips as well, when you put your lipstick on, it should help it stay on a little bit longer. Okay. So when it comes to your jawline, if it's the right color, and it's not too dark and it's not too light it should just blend into your neck so you can see there there are no lines and you can just go down a little bit try to avoid it getting into your hair because otherwise it makes your hair look all powdery okay so as you can see now my skin I probably look a little bit pale and like I've got not much color so what I also like to use, and again, you don't have to if you don't want to, is something called a highlighter. So this is just a little cream one. And you can put it just on your cheeks or on your, just under your eye. As you can see, it makes you look a little bit more sparkly. So one place I also do like to put it is you can just put it just under your eyebrow. We only need a little bit for this. 
you can put a tiny bit just down the center of your nose you see that and then I like to put just a little bit on the top of my lip as well as you can see it makes it just look a little bit more sparkly okay so the next thing I'm going to use is if I can find where I put it here it is is a blusher so I've got a powder one here so I'm just going to use just quite a light one and I've got a brush here with a tilted end but it doesn't matter what kind of brush you use as long as you have a thick one so if you put it on always give it a blow and then you suck in your cheeks like this and you want to be hitting this area here so we do it again there we go so if it's too dark mine went a little bit dark you can just give it a little rub um, also with blusher you can put a little bit up here if you want and just a little bit there so if you don't have any blusher what you can also use is a lipstick so I'm going to do it on this side so this is just like a little rosy color it's quite near to the blusher so again you just suck in your cheeks and then just dab some on and then just blend that in so it's probably not quite as dark as this one but you can see you still got a little bit of a put a tiny bit on you still got a bit of color there okay so you guys don't have to do this step as you can see my eyebrows are quite little and they stop about there so i'm going to put some powder on as it's a day look i'm only going to do a little light bit and then you just start at the end work your way across and then go down so can you see the difference and i'm going to do that to the other side so remember start that way work your way in you don't have to put a lot of powder on and you can also use a pencil if that's all you've got or if you're lucky enough to have nice lovely eyebrows and you don't need to use it at all so with my little eyebrow kit i get a little brush with it and then what i do is just brush my eyebrows up like that and then pull it across to neaten it up so up and then across and there you go i've got eyebrows didn't have those before so what i'm going to move on to next is the eyeshadow this is just like a creamy color but you can get powder eyeshadows and then i've just got a flat brush for this i'm not going to go with too dark a look because it's just for the day so you get it make sure it's on your brush close your eye and then just put it on the bottom there we go so i tend to stop about here so if you go right up to your eyebrow it can look a little bit silly so it's going to do the other eye so it could help if like me you've got some wrinkly eyelids if you close your eye and then just using your finger pull it out a little bit and then just sweep it across so again you need to be very gentle with this so you don't poke yourself in the eye and there we go so if you're a little bit fussy like me i've got another brush and then i just go over just to blend it in a little bit just like that so normally i would put eyeliner on but we can save that for another lesson because that's quite a difficult one to master so next thing i'm going to use is mascara I know this can be quite scary so i'm just going to show you a really easy way to use this so i'm going to get quite close so if you just put it on your eyelashes and then blink so 
And then can you see it's on? There we go. So I'll do it with my other one. Again, you can, if you've got quite long eyelashes, you can do this. And then, let's like say, you rest it on your eyelashes. And then you can just blink. That's the easiest way to do it. So I'm using a black mascara, but if you're just practicing, you can just go for a clear one or you can go for a lighter brown one. And that's just not as harsh as black. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can do your bottom lashes. And then you just have to really gently do that. But you don't have to do these. The mascara is quite a difficult thing to master anyway okay so the next thing I'm going to put on is just some lip gloss so I've got quite a light color because my eyeshadow is a little bit darker and again you just earlier on I put foundation on my lips and it should help it stay a little bit longer so I always start with the bottom lip and then you just go like that so try not to put it too much in the middle otherwise you'll end up maybe with it on your teeth later on in the day and then you can do the top and smoosh your lips together so that's my easy makeup look then you can put your hair down and I'm ready for the day so if you liked this makeup lesson and you'd like some more, just let me know. If you want more party looks, you can put it in the comments. And if you've been practicing, then send us in your pictures. Okay, have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye.